Hi, we're in beautiful sunny Charleston and it's the middle of January and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, last weekend it was a cold snap um, and it was below freezing even during the day and much much colder at night. Um, what we needed to do because we're a British boat and we're in America we can't use the electricity to run our pumps, to run our um, heater, so we decided to start the generator and it just went click, 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 wouldn't start. So I believed it was a starter motor so I phoned my good friend Andrea who's, who was our engineer in Greece and over Skype he helped me out and said yes it was, it was, he thinks it was a, sol a solenoid on the starter motor. So we had to buy a new one and uh, this is it and now I'm going to go and replace it. Okay, the start of the process is you find the battery as it's on a boat. Over here I've got my generator batteries and my two engine batteries. And what I'm doing here is I'm found a negative and I'm disconnecting that. It's quite fiddly with all these wires in the way. And you can see here it's the black one which is the negative. So I'm making sure I take that well away from everything and uh, and there we go. Okay I've disconnected the negative on the battery and I'm now coming down to do uh, take off the wires on the starter motor. As you see this is in the same position so I have starboard, top and port. Okay, this one's the starboard, this one is T for top, and this one over here with the main one coming over is on the port one. The wires have been taken off and labelled, so now what I have to do is take off the uh, main bolts that attach the starter motor to the engine. The one that's underneath is very difficult to get to and it took me a long time to get it off with the spanner but I, I did it and that one is away and now I've just got the top one which is finger tight so I'm going to support the starter motor because I don't want it to bang or damage anything else and take the last bolt out. And what is a spanner? Oh, a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> How's it look? Yeah, it looks okay. What I'm looking for now on the starter motor is make sure that everything is in its place. It should be, there's no water damage in there or any oil damage. That means there's a leak within the engine and it looks a bit dirty and a bit old, but other than that, it looks okay because that's what could have caused it to uh, malfunction at the first time and if you just put a new one on with water leaking or oil leaking you're going to end up having to replace it again very soon. The, look, if you look at the uh, comparisons they look identical. This one's just painted and old and this one's a brand new one. I contacted Westerbeek, which is an, um, went on their website, and to buy this one here in the United States was $780 plus tax and transportation. And this one I got on the web was $191. So quite a difference, really. So, so shop it, around. Is the difference because one's marine and one's not? No, it's one's because it's a, the manufacturer putting their big hike on it and it comes red. Okay I'm just gonna replace the new one now.
Okay, as you can see, I have uh, put the bolts back on, on that uh, attach it to the engine. I've put it quite tight, but you don't want to rank it on too hard, just in case you can deform the uh, engine case and everything like that. Now what I'm doing now is putting the wires back on in the order that I've labelled them. The starter motor is now fitted and everything is reattached. I'm now going to go over to the battery and reconnect the negative. Also, I'm going to make sure that the raw water is back on because I switched it off. And then we're going to start it. Okay, um, here we go. Fingers crossed. That's not good. Okay, I'll call you back. Okay, I'm here, don't worry. All right, ciao. Ciao. Right, as you can tell, we, um, I've changed the starter motor and hey presto, it's still making the same noise. Um, someone's told me that we've got to check the battery and what we've done is, I've got a friend of mine who tested the cold cranking amps and this one is a thousand and we tested it and which it, one's a thousand this one's a thousand this yeah. one's the generator these two are um 800s and um they this one here has 63 cold cranking amps no wonder it couldn't turn over the engine so what so i've 63 done 63 out of a thousand out of a thousand so that needs to be replaced okay this one here and this one here are the engine ones um, and this one is quite really low and we've got to change this one but what I've done is I've put the battery um, the battery connections for the generator on that one so we're going to uh, give it a go and see if it'll uh, turn over. Well, we... Okay so you've just you've just um, you're just using temporarily another battery yeah, just temporarily to see using another battery if to that's see. what the problem is. To see, make sure that's what the, well I know it's the problem because we've had it tested right. and it needs replacing. Okay and should we have tested this should we have tested this before we ordered a new starter motor? Um, yeah probably probably but we've got now got a spare starter motor so <laughs> which is a good thing to have um, and, because, and and we know how to change the starter well, I know motor. How to change the starter motor. Look, I'm learning. I'm not a mechanic. Never claim to be, but I'm learning. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's see if it starts up. That's a good start. 